Now we're going to look at taking a uh, user input. And that is, uh, you do that by using uh, standard IO. And uh, let's go to it uh, over here, standard IO. And IO uh, means input, output. So there you go, it has, um, you know, this is for um, you know, opening files, uh, taking input, uh, you know, things like that. And so uh, to, to, uh, to start this out, um, and by the way, all this stuff is going to be really, really easy for you guys now because I, uh, I took the, um, you know, all the stuff that you need, user input and like accessing files and move it to the, to the very end of the book. Uh, but uh, that doesn't mean it's the most difficult. It's actually super easy. So uh, I think you'll find this enjoyable. Uh, so print line. So let's imagine, uh, let's just start something that takes in uh, input and then um, and lets you escape if you uh, if you type X. So please type something or uh, type X to exit. <clears throat> let's move this over a little. There we go. So we'll print that, and then uh, so what we'll do is uh, we'll bring in a string, and this will take the input from the uh, from the user. So we'll bring a so it's a new string. Uh, there's nothing inside of it, and then. Uh, so here's going to be the interesting part. So well, input string, and of course we want to uh, exit when uh, when we get an uh, X. So we'll say you know well user or input string is not equal to X, and then we're going to do this uh, this repeat, and we're just going to uh, say hey you, you you know if you type a T, it's going to say you type T uh, and that sort of thing. So what we'll do is we'll say input string. Uh, first, we'll clear it um, every time, and then uh, inside IO is something called standard in, and standard in is uh, is the uh, you know the input. So um, I'll just uh, let's see where is standard in standard in. There you go. So it's uh, the technical term constructs a new handle to the standard input of the current process. Uh, so standard in is to uh, to get input. And then uh, there's a function there called uh, read line, uh, standard in dot uh, read line, like that. And this will uh, this will read the uh, you know what's what's coming in uh, the line that's coming in. And so uh, we'll put in the uh, mute input string, and that's going to uh, uh, read to this, and then uh, unwrap because uh, you know it might work and it might not work, but uh, we're confident that it's going to work. And then we'll say uh, print line and say uh, you wrote something and then input string. This IntelliSense is, uh, is kind of nice. Uh, and then, so there we go. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. So let's go cargo run over here. And it's going to build. And okay, please type something. So we'll type T. And it says you wrote T, you wrote 8. So this is looking good. So let's type X and exit. And this is uh, this is interesting. So it's not uh, it's not letting us exit. And the uh, the reason for that is uh, is that I didn't just type uh, X. I actually uh, from the computer's point of view, I uh, I typed uh, X and then I typed enter. And so it's uh, it's taking in I think uh, RNN like a carriage return. Um, and uh, so we can. Um, we can actually see that if we change this to uh, to debug print. <clears throat> so let's try this again. Cargo run, and then this should show us that it's uh, there. You go. So you wrote x uh, slash n. You wrote x in new line. If you give it an n, it says n in new line. So that is uh, that's what it's actually actually seeing. So the way that we uh, we fix that. Oh, and by the way. Um, uh, no, wait. The way we fix that is with uh, trim. So there's a, uh, a method here called, uh, let's see, input string dot clear. And we are going to, where did trim go? There we go. We'll do it here. So you have a uh, input string and then, uh, and then you trim it and then get it to, uh, to match uh, X. So let's try that again, cargo run. There you go. You wrote n, and you wrote uh, you wrote xn, 
but uh, we, we trimmed it and then it turned to an X, to X and then uh, that will uh, break us out of the loop. So this trim is going to remove the white space. And uh, by the way, this is a uh, <clears throat> this is what white space is uh, according to the uh, the definition. So if you're wondering, it's uh, trim will remove tabs, uh, carriage return, the new line, um, you know, vertical tab, next line, all this stuff. Uh, it's going to uh, take it out for you. So that is uh, that is how you take user input. Uh, there's also uh, something interesting called uh, args, standard and args. And this is when you write, uh, for example, you know, cargo run, if we, uh, hello there. If we write this, uh, it's actually going to, uh, so these will become the args, uh, and uh, the, these can be used um, by using this uh, the stand env args, and it's going to, uh, I'll just show you an, an example of that. So let's, uh, Let's see, let's go back to a function main and bring in uh, use standard in args. <clears throat> and then uh, what uh, what this uh, gives you is this uh, function called args. Let's see, input equals args. Where is it? There you go. So it's a function called args. And this is a, uh, it's an iterator of, uh, of all the stuff that you put in, basically. So if you take, uh, let's go to main and let's, uh, let's say input equals Rx. So this will, uh, input will be a, uh, an iterator. And we can see that if we, uh, if we take uh, input and then give it a weird, uh, a weird method uh, to, uh, to make it angry, then we'll say, let's say cargo new, or not real, new, cargo run. Uh, hello, and then uh, it's going to say you know method not found in standard and args, and then okay what is uh, standard and args? Well, it's a uh, here it is. It's an iterator over the arguments of a process, and it yields a string value for each argument. So this is this is already an iterator. You can already uh, you can put it in a for loop or something like that, and so we can uh, you know take this uh, take this input. And then say for entry in input, and let's just uh, print it out. Uh, you entered that, and uh, we'll print out the uh, the entry, and then uh, try that. So cargo run. Uh, I like to use cargo, and there you can see. So it turns into uh, an iterator, and the first. Uh, by the way, the first. Um, item in it is always the uh, the name of the program so uh, if you want to uh, you might want to skip this sometimes uh, because this is always going to be uh, item number number one or the you know the zeroth uh, index in uh, in that so uh, you might want to do something like uh, I'm just going to paste this in <clears throat> so there you go if you want to skip it then you would do like uh, you know iter uh, actually we don't need to we're going to have to change that code. Um, so let's see, cargo run. I like cargo. And there you can see, uh, so we've taken, uh, so skip the first one, uh, skip the name of the program, and then for each item, uh, we'll print it out and then uh, just take it and uh, turn it to uppercase. And so you can see over here, uh, we've done that. So like uh, turns to like, you know, cargo turns to cargo, and so it's uh, it's taking our our input when we when we start the program, and uh, and turning it into uh, capital letters. So that's some uh, some quick uh, user input, and uh, I think there's a little bit more uh, about args. So we're going to look at that in the next video.